Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at doing an integral of arctangent 1 over x from 1 to square root of 2. So when I see something like this, I typically think integration by parts. Like if, if I could do an explicit substitution, maybe um, w equals arctangent or something like that, I would need the derivative, but there's, there's only one function in the integrand here. So um, if I only see one function in the integrand, like arctangent, arc sine, arc cosine, I typically do integration by parts. So I'm going to do an integration by parts here, and I need to correctly select u and dv. So our, our integration by parts formula is u, integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. So I have to select u and dv from what I have in my integral initially. So I'm going to let u equal the arctan of 1 over x. And so dv is whatever's left. In this case, that's just dx. And then take the derivative here to get du. So the derivative du, arctangent's derivative is 1 over 1 plus the input squared, so 1 plus 1 over x squared times derivative of 1 over x, which is negative 1 over x squared dx. And v integrate to get v, we get v equals x. So there's our setup, and now I just need to multiply uv minus integral of v times du. So we multiply uv, so this is going to be x arctan of 1 over x from 1 to square root of 2 minus the integral from 1 to square root of 2 of 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared times negative 1 over x squared times x dx. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the bounds into the first part of this x arctan 1 over x. The second part, I can pull the negative out front. So I actually can make this negative and this negative become a positive. And then what I'm going to do right here in this fraction is multiply top and bottom by x squared so that I can kind of make it a little bit easier to see. So this is going to be square root of 2 arctangent of 1 over square root of 2 minus arctangent of 1 plus integral from 1 to square root of 2 x squared over 1 plus x squared. Um, actually this x and this x squared reduced to 1 over x, so times 1 over x dx. And now that 1 over x and the x squared here will cancel. So this is going to be arctangent of 1 is pi over 4, but arctangent 1 over square root of 2, that's like a, it's actually like a trick question because if it were arc sine or arc cosine of 1 over square root of 2, that would be a good answer. But there's no, we don't have a specific value for arctangent 1 over square root of 2, so we just got to leave it that way. So it's going to be square root of 2 arctangent 1 over square root of 2 minus pi over 4 plus the integral from 1 to square root of 2. And this just leaves x over 1 plus x squared dx. And now probably what we need to do to evaluate this integral x over 1 plus x squared is going to be a substitution. So I'm going to let w equal 1 plus x squared. And then dw, the derivative, is going to be 2x dx. Well, I have x dx, but I don't have a 2, so I'm going to say 1 half dw equals x dx. And so then I'll also change my bounds if x equals 1, w equals 2. And if x equals square root of 2, 
w equals 3. So this is going to make my integral go from 2 to 3. So let's see how this changes our integral. So this is going to be square root of 2 arctangent of 1 over square root of 2 minus power over 4 plus integral from 2 to 3 1 over w times 1 half dw. So this is just going to be square root of 2 arctangent 1 over square root of 2 minus power over 4 plus 1 half natural log absolute value of w from 2 to 3. And we can just go ahead and plug those in. So that's going to be square root of 2 arctangent of 1 over square root of 2. You could change that to be square root of 2 over 2, but it doesn't matter, to be honest. They're equivalent. So I'm just going to keep it as 1 over square root of 2 minus pi over 4 plus, and then I'll just write it this way, 1 half, and then open a parentheses and say natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2. And that's really good enough for the answer. I mean, you can simplify it a whole bunch of different ways, but just going to leave it like that for our answer. And that's how we do integration by parts.